Hello friends, I'm Friends Martin. Most people know me by Frenchie at FrenchieStamps.com. Today I'm going to share with you a simple uh, candy dispenser box made with only one piece of cardstock. Super simple. I'm using the heavy um, designer series paper and this pattern it's kind of hard to see on the camera so we will do it on the white and finish the one that i pre-cut here just because we couldn't see it good the line with that pattern on the camera so we're going to start with a piece of cardstock that measure eight and a half by eight and a half by nine now we're going to score the eight and a half at the top we're going to score at two four, six, and eight. Turn this at the nine at the top. We're going to score at one, three, six and a half, and eight and a half. Now we're going to bring this part back up the eight and a half and i want to the score that we score at eight right here so we get the one inch here from your first score and this is going to be just a guide for where we're going to cut you're going to score that at five and a half to your first score line here flip that back up and go back at five and a half and go to your second score. So you get the first score, that half inch there. You're gonna go all the way to the two and a half, this way. So this is just for a guide. Now we are done with our score. Now it's time to trim. Like I said, this is the only thing that you need for your box. I'm gonna bring my paper cutter here and we will cut so you're going to keep the one inch at the top here okay that the first score now i think i can bring you down a little bit more so you can see better so you got the one inch at the top we will remove from the score at the five and a half there we're going to remove all this at the top so put this on your paper cutter or you can use scissors whatever you prefer and i'm going to go to the oops Sometimes those score line, let me move this a bit. Here we go. Now we're going to cut this completely off. Now oh, we will cut the little flap right here. Keep this there. Cut a little V. And over here at the top, you're going to cut, oh, I'm going to say about half inch diagonal this way. We can always trim that. Over here, I'm going to go the same way. Now over here, we're going to cut just a little V to remove that little, uh, make it easier for when we're going to do our uh, fold there. Now, we're going to do some trimming over here over here the five and a half score there you're going to cut this straight down and we're going to cut and again we're going to do a little v and the reason for those little v it's going to make it simple when we come to assemble here we're going to cut a v that square needs to go completely and diagonal again Diagonal over here and diagonal over here. Now we're going to remove this. I mean, remove, do a V on each side. See? Now we're keeping this. This is the main flap that's going to attach the box together. Make sure you're keeping that. This is the top cover. This is the main body that's going to keep the box together. I'm just going to do a little V here. Oh, really, this need this portion here need to come off. Okay, so I'm going to cut this right here. And you can use your paper cutter, whatever that you prefer. 
Okay, so the side here at the half inch, this is the way it should look. So you get this opening, keep, keep, this is your top. Now, over here, all this here need to come bye-bye. So we're going to remove this completely. Uh, let me double uh, think here. Yes. Let's cut this. And again, I could have used my paper trimmer to go straighter. So now we should have something that looks like this. We need to remove this one right here. Because this is going to be, let me make sure. Yes. So the third one, if you get this at the top or right here, we need to remove this. And in the instruction, you should have a pattern there, a picture of the where it, what it should look like. Let me fold this. Okay, let me remove this. We're done with this. Now, voila. Take a good look at this. This is what you need to finish your uh, project. I'm going to bring the one with the pretty paper that I did. This is painted with love paper. So you see we get the same thing here. It was art show the, in the score and so on. That's why I did the white. Let's remove this. We're done with that. Now you're going to take uh, the punch one and three quarter. It seemed that worked uh, great. You're going to, where you get the opening, you're going to fold this, fold this. You're going to take your punch, go about, oh, not quite halfway. Try to center that the best that you can. And usually it's easier if you look in the back here. You can see if you get about the same, because you see the score very good here. Punch this out. Now, voila. This is your opening for your candy. Now, right at the top here, that's going to be the front of your box where the cover is uh, going to slide in. To make it easier to open in and close, I'm using the three-quarter punch. Go right here in the center. I could measure, but that would be more work, right? I just eyeball this. Punch this out. Voila. So your box, it's done. We need extra place to put our flap for the opening of the candy uh, door that I call. So where you get your F moon here, where you punch your circle, go right at the side of your score line. Go about three quarter of an inch. And that, if it's not enough, I'm going to show you how to uh, make it bigger. i rather go smaller than too big and then we cannot it's going to flop open so and sometimes i like to do just a little sliver out of it so i get placed slight my tab you see when i say a sliver i really mean a sliver about the thickness of your score line put it that way now we're going to put the box flat anytime it is a box it is so much better to make it flat I like to use my tombow for this and it seemed that oh here it is so I'm going to put my tombow and this paper got uh, some um, foil paper in this uh, designer series paper so you have to um, put a strong glue you can use maybe tear and tape I just happen to have this one here so and now and then i can you know move it if it's not the perfect proportion oh make sure i don't have glue on my hand here here we go now i got my box one thing that i like to trim off a little bit sometime of my flap if i see i went off a bit that looked pretty good we're just gonna go ahead put some oh i i forgot a very important thing because i had done that in advance 
The important thing for any type of box or 3D, it's you have to reinforce all of your score. And when I mean reinforce, really burnish this, all of the score, and that's gonna make it much easier to assemble the box and to uh, have it stand up very straight. Okay, just push that all together straight. So now that you see it's completely straight and dry, you can always take your bone folder and push it in. Now what you're gonna do, it's take those flap here and put it in the opening that we cut on the side there. That is where, oh, this is not reinforced all the way here. That is where if it's not cut enough, like this one, I need a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do, it's come here and cut just a little bit more. I try measure and so on, and it seems it don't help if I measure, depends sometimes, just a little tab. So this worked better for me. Just put it in and, okay, this one need to be higher. Here we go. Now this should all work perfect. Et voila. Okay, you see it want a bow there? If that happened, I see it's not this. Turn this this way, and that's where I said some time trimming. Right at the edge, do a little shaving there of your tab. The tab maybe glue a little bit off a bit. Here we go. Let's try this again. Et voila, it stands perfect. Now we got our cover that go in. Now you just have to decorate it. What i done, I just used the pansy um, punch and um, did two of the one in um, the yellow that's crushed curry, melon mumbo. Use my um, old punch here, put that right in the center. I'm gonna put this way and then I just do like a French knot do just a, a knot fold those two together put this in and pull so now you get the perfect little knots in the center of your flower and I'm going to use glue dots and we will, well, I don't have my glue dots for some reason. I'm just going to use some snail that I get here. Et voila. Then we're going to cut that sideways. Take my bone folder. So you can decorate it for Valentine's for any occasion. Birthdays. Here we go. This one. And for the top, what I done, I took one of those honeycomb, um, it's just a little accent honeycomb, and they're a balloon. I didn't want a balloon, so I just cut around it. So it removed that balloon shape. And it's more just like a circle, and this is adhesive. You can use buttons. Uh, I did some for Christmas that I did an ornament at the top. So any way you want to decorate that. Really, this video was for the box itself. Then I'm going to put that right in the center. So now it, oh, did I, yeah, I removed that. So now I got a little tab there, and voila. This is it, and then you would put your good little candy in there. Oh, 
I think I got one too many in. No, how you can fill it it. So that's why you need cardstock to fill it so it won't just keep on following down. And then when you want them, voila. See? And then you can open it up right here. Here was my Christmas one with the Christmas ornament at the top. Did the same thing open over here very simple so this is it my friend thank you so much for watching till next time happy stamping